Hey everybody, it's me Cooper, and we're back with more Yu-Gi-Oh! Rush Duels. It's me and... oh, let's just go over here. Uh, we're gonna be talking to the main character, Yugo. Uh, we have the same height, so that's pretty cool. What's up, a fellow elementary school student? <laughs> Looks like you've mastered the basics, and you can keep that last deck. It's my gift to you. Thank you for letting me borrow your deck, basically. That deck is the first deck I ever built when I started Rush Dueling. Oh, you don't currently use it. Never mind. What else do we got? Now then, go challenge everyone out there to a duel. It is a battle royale, so I agree. I should do that. Hold up. What's up, Luke? You can't send a baby giraffe into the wild where all the lions are. You need a paper. You need a papa dragon like me to show him the ropes. I'll duel you first. Is this is this a good idea? Luke takes dueling really, really, really seriously, so he might be too much for a beginner. Uh, you do have a point. Luke isn't known for easy off easing off the gas. Then Roman, how about you duel instead? Um. Me? But I didn't bring my deck today. You didn't bring your deck? What the hell? What? Am I hearing that you didn't want to duel the Papa Dragon? In that case, I'll let Roman borrow my deck so that you could duel the Mama Dragon. Alright, and boop, just uh, handing her the deck. I am not a Mama Dragon, but yeah, I'll duel. Since this will be a real duel, we'll start with 8,000. Oh, for real? This is going to be a real duel. Okay, and Roman's going to show me the ropes. I appreciate this, Roman. I'm about to kick your ass. <laughs> I hope I can kick your ass. Let's see what you got. So she said she's going to take it easier on me. So it's the same deck, but, you know, the AI probably will have some worse gameplay, which is good for me. I need that. Roman, what you got? I'm going to go with paper this time. I know I said, ah, shit, I should have went with scissors. Uh, don't pick first. I wanted to go first. All right, fine. I'll figure it out. Let's see what I got. I got the Shining Shaman and the Toro the Wind Weaver. Those are two cards I'm going to have to read because I don't have... Draw phase. I get to go first. Here goes. Alright, so while you're doing that, I want to read details. Alright, requirements. Send one card. Oh, shit. Alright, I don't have enough time. That's not like Tag Force where they use the left side of the screen for you to do that. Ah, oh, I need to turn that off. I forgot. I use this monster to tribute summon. Oh, you already have a tribute? I don't even have a tribute. How much attack? Uh, Dragon Eye of Darkness only has 16 attack. That's not a good tribute monster. I don't need to tell you. I, like, Ed, trust me, I'm from the old school Yu-Gi-Oh. Any tribute that didn't give you at least 2,000 attack was a bad tribute. Okay? Just saying. Curse of Dragon is your baby. That's the limit. Okay? You better at least get Curse of Dragon. Curse of Sparks is pretty good. It might help me out with my hand here. So what do you do? Send one card from your hand to the graveyard to change the battle position of one monster your opponent's uh, field. Attack becomes defense. Defense becomes attack. Makes sense. And you're a pretty strong card. But you're level 6. Ugh. Uh, what about you? What do you do? Uh, send this face-up card to the field to the graveyard. Select one face-up level 4 lower spellcaster from your field. It can attack directly this turn. Interesting idea. But we're going to not go with it. I'm going to set, but even though I'm actually going to tribute some, and it's fine. Uh, let's see, you're, you got 1600 attack, so you're gonna come in handy. Tobina the Wing Weaver, come here. Yeah, I need to tribute summon. I probably should have kept the cat, honestly. I don't know if Spell Archer has the damage I really need. But we'll find out real soon. Uh, this Shaman is kind of weak. And Spell Archer, kind of weak too. I don't want to give. I don't want to leave her with monsters to attack me with. But at the same time, in order to activate my effect, I got to discard a card. And personally, I, I would prefer to keep my monster. All right, I activate my monster's effect. Yeah, that's right. Torn of the Wind Weaver, and I'm gonna throw away my Shining Shaman. And by doing that, I can now attack you, because I'm gonna put you in defense mode. Yeah, you're lucky I don't do piercing damage or you'd be in, j in danger. I'm also going to set a trap in case you try to destroy me next turn, which you will probably do. Since you went first, you have the advantage. Uh, yes, I would like to change phases. Uh, let's go to battle phase. Now, I might take some damage for doing this, but I do want to know what your face down is. So let me go ahead and break your monster. And I have to assume, since you didn't summon a bunch of monsters, you either saved them, or which is a bad idea since you don't get a new hand, or those are spells and traps. All right, was I right? Ooh! Okay, I'm glad I was able to do this. I didn't let you keep that monster for later. So you were just playing a little extra careful, which I even was considering... I was considering doing that, too. But then I was like, nah, let's just beat her up. I'm pretty sure I can do it. So good job, Spell Archer. Good job, Tornadus, whatever your name is. 
See, this card, I, I know I just talk crap on monsters that need a tribute and only have 1600 attack. But, um, my monster at least had an effect, so, you know, you gotta do that. And here comes a tribute. Okay, what are we dealing with? And that one's a problem. Alright, that one beats me no matter what. I don't like that. What's your spell card? Dragons of Breno. Destroy one spell or trap on the field! No! I don't even have a way of surviving now. Crap. Okay, wait, but she only got one monster out, so that's good for me. She did attack the correct monster, though, but... Uh, so she must have a bunch of spell trap card destruction in her hand, or she's going to set trap. Wait, no, she already went to battle phase. She can't set traps anymore. Yeah, you end your turn, Roman. I gotta show you a real turn. Watch this. I need to draw a tribute monster, like, right now. Alright, let's see what we can get. A good tribute monster, nonetheless. It's my seventh rogue magician. That's gonna change this duel. So before I do anything, let's go to settings. No, let's surrender. No, let's go to settings. There's some things I want to change. Animation speed can go faster. Uh, phase visuals is fine. Progress confirmation, that's good. Dialogue display visuals, I love it. Draw display visuals, that's fine. Summoning movies, of course. Battle visuals, love it. Battle end visuals, love it. Draw button controls, uh-huh. Opponent card check, that we can turn off. Uh, effect activation confirmation, that's fine. Yeah, that's all I really needed. Um, I think everything, oh, text speed can go faster. Uh, that's for sure. Alright, there we go. Oh, I'm in the mood right now. Let's see, my Hydro Magician has 17 attack. But the real thing I need to... Well, what do you do again? Sorry. Uh, send one spellcaster monster from your hand to the graveyard. Draw one card. Oh, yeah, that's a great idea. Aren't you a spellcaster? I like it. All right. I'm going to summon my Mystic Dealer. I summon a monster. Yeah. Because this is going to help me. Okay. I activate my I'm going to activate my effect by sending away my Hydra. Oh, wait. My cat's also a thing. By sending away my Hydro Magician, I should be able to get another monster, hopefully. Let's draw a card. I got a Shrek. Okay, good. I got a cat. With this cat, I can tribute. Oh, sadly, I, I don't have enough space. But I can now tribute this. So, Seven's Road Magician, you need two tributes, right? That's fine by me. We're going to tribute the cat. And we're going to tribute the, uh, the, uh, the Wind Warrior. Because you want multiple attributes in the graveyard, and I already threw away a water monster. Of course, we're gonna watch this uh, cool animation of the summoning because I love the I love the summon animations; they're great. So my sevens rogue magician has got you. There's nothing you could do about him. He's pretty cool. You know, he's pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna get my cat ready, just to defend. The straight cat looks adorable, guys. Like this is an adorable looking cat. Just get on the field. All right, and yeah, we're not strong enough, so we're gonna need to use your effect. I yeah, I'm gonna discard a card. Hopefully, it's another monster, and that's one that's already in the grave, so it's not gonna help. But it's not a new attribute, is what I'm trying to say. But it'll do good to give me 3,300 attack because I have a lot of monsters. So let's do this. With my 3,300 attack points, we're gonna destroy you. 1,200 damage on your tribute level six monster. Ain't that a shame? Oh no, that's right. And I still got an extra thousand damage, so you're in trouble. Alright, 8,000 life points, huh? It actually does give you a lot of chances. That's fine. I'm just gonna end my turn. Let's see what you got. Alright, let's see what you can draw. You get five cards always, so let's see if you get better cards. Yeah, playing defensively makes sense, unless you're about to tribute. No, you're a tributor. Okay. Who are you trying to kill? Whoa, you're only level... You only have 15 attack? What do you do? One fate. I couldn't read it. You discard one card, and... What did you just do? Ew! My monster is weak! Why'd you do that to my boss monster? It's a damn good thing I have a trap card. I activate my trap card. Curtain of Sparks. Yeah, and thanks to this trap, your monster just lost 500 attack. So even though your monster had a really good effect, it's going to cost you. I like this game. I'm already liking this game because it seems to be about mon be having the biggest monster. And back in the day, that's pretty much all it was. They're like, oh, my monster's bigger than yours. I won. The spells and traps helped here and there, but really it was just about being the biggest. And I really like that.
about Yu-Gi-Oh. So, well, hold up. I'm going to go ahead and activate my Magic Dealer's effect. Yeah, let me see if I can get a spell or trap card to help me out. I already got everything I need, I know that. But I want to see if I can get something that destroys a, a spell or trap on the field. So let's see what we got. I draw one card. Yeah, I drew it! Magical Stream, this is what I was waiting for. Alright, I activate Magical Stream's effect to destroy your only trap. Which might have been able to stop me. And once that's gone, I'm going all in. Alright, I don't know what that trap would have done, but let's go and do some tribute summoning. I'm going to summon Torna the Wind Weaver. I tribute one monster. The tribute summon. And I'm going to summon my Hydro Magician. Hydro Magician, I wish you had more attack points. 17 for a tribute with no effect? I don't I really like that. But being a spellcaster probably will help out my deck a lot. Alright, and you activate your effect always. There's no reason not to. Because I'm getting a lot more... I'm, I hope I can get more attributes in the grave. I think I already did, so I should be at 36. Nope, still at 33. Okay. Well, that's fine. I guess I didn't... I thought I added dark, but I didn't. Let's go over to the battle phase and let's start hitting people. 3,300. Oh, this is really bad for you, Ro Roman? Roman. Because I have everything I need. There we go. And I'm sorry, Roman, but I still got my win, lady. Man. I can't honestly tell. And I did it. In our first real duel, I managed to defeat our opponent, Roman. Thank you for going easy on me. We got the mystical... Oh, the multi-strike dragon. That was the other girl's boss monster. Uh, we got this other dragon card, dragon card, and... That's the card she was using, this gravity press dragon, yeah. This one actually was pretty good. I think it dropped my attack by like 700 or something. Pretty effective card. I feel like dropping your opponent's attack by 700 is really, really good in a game like this. At least this early. Are you really a beginner? You're way too good for someone that just learned the rules. Uh, but I feel like I got to know you better through the duel. Yeah, you know what? That's what I learned too. Oh, do you got a little duel spirit now? Look at that. That's the fire. I branded it on my shirt because I have this power. By dueling Romans, your spirits are connected. Awesome. That was an excellent duel. I'm not just talking about your skill. I sense that you duel... Wait, that you want to duel so that you can make new friends. That's right. Nice job, bro. You made Papa Dragon proud. Alright, Papa Dragon. I didn't mention this earlier, but I felt a connection in our duel as well. A deep, beautiful connection. Alright, Vice Prez, you stay away from me. How could this be? We just met. How can love blossom so quickly? No, I, like I said, you stay away, okay? It must be... Nope, okay, let's... Where's the run button? This is a 3D game where I can run, right? Where's the run button? Uh, Rain, what are you talking about? I can't run. Get me away from that child. I don't want to be anywhere near her. Alright. Thanks, buddy. We're, we all know about spirits. You could see into your opponent's heart. Is that all you could see? Can you see the future? I'm not that crazy. What's Lutz for lunch tomorrow? Hopefully some chicken. Like the chicken sandwich at freaking... For elementary school? Yeah, chicken sandwiches were good. That was good school. A lunch. Wait. Oh, that's Gavin's favorite monster? Are you going to give it to me? It has 2,500 attack. That thing's pretty good. The first level... Uh... Delay, Dark Delayer. I mean, Gavin tries his best. Let's see. It's not funny anymore because you had to explain the joke. Oh, we're getting off track. Are you trying? Are you ready to duel against all types of duelists? Yes. You haven't memorized all the rules yet? That's not a problem. If you need clarification on the rules, I don't want to do tutorial anymore. I'm ready. I just won my first first real duel. For the uh, for those of you that don't know, allow me to explain. Roma is a horrible chef. She accidentally cooked up the most delicious dish ever: Dragaius curry. It, uh, it, you know what? It actually does look good. You would think the neon blue curry with gumdrops and soda would taste hor- Oh, wait, that does sound horrible now. Uh, yeah, never mind. Yeah, no, no, never mind. I don't want any. It looked like it was, like, just blue jelly or something, but... Uh, don't worry about taking it as a compliment. New slash, new slash, duelist detected. Yeah, we're all duelists here, Kaizo. You're, you're so good at your job. There's a mega powerful duelist in the building basement. You know, the special building. How can you sense the power of a duelist? Is it like Battle City where all the duelists got stars when they got, went to get their duel discs? And for some reason, Joey had like none, even though he got second in the freaking Pegasus tournament. What was that? Millennium City? or No, no. That was, um... You know what? It's been a while, guys. I need to... 
I need a break. Oh no, you're sticking around here. We can't find what's going on unless we go there. I got the starter deck from Luke as well. Cool. You got a bunch of starter decks put together. You can get new cards by using tickets and GP from card packs under shop in the menu. Oh, okay. There are all oh, the blue eyes white dragon. There are lots of fun challenges to help you understand your cards better in dual qu Oh, dual quizzes are in this game. Okay. Funny enough, I'm playing a game right now that you guys haven't seen yet that will be... Oh, I already did that. Uh, that will have dual quizzes as well. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's check out his dual recipe. What's let's, what's it got? Let me, uh, let me look inside. Alright, so his dual recipe. This is his boss. We got a lot of gravity press dragons. Uh, Alright, add one little fire, higher drive time monster from a graveyard to your hand. Send one card from your hand to the graveyard. This card can't attack twice. Oh, you're like, uh, what was that thing? Grey Wing. Twin Edge Dragon is just Grey Wing, but weaker. Uh, you got some tiny dragons to tank. Dragon's Bat, Dragon Sage. Yeah, you got some okay mon- Like, this is a shitty monster in my opinion, but I have some bad ones too, so don't feel too bad, kid. Here, let me equip your deck as well, just in case I want to mix it up. Because, uh, I haven't built my own deck yet. And you know what? It's still early in the game, so give me a sec- Well, holy shit. Well, that's a lot of stuff. I do want to go shopping, but let me, uh... Let me earn some money first, okay? Uh, oh, look at this child! Hello there, child. Run, run, run! Gotta hustle to that building to check if the rumors are true. Alright. Uh, everyone here has dialogue, so let's see real quick. Uh, such spirit, such dueling, there's never a dull moment with you. But there are dual moments. Okay, I'm not gonna like you, Gavin. I'm sorry. I'm just not. Oh, this kid wants to duel? Is that is that what this means? Hey, I just built my first ever deck. I put my all favorite insects into it. You know what? You're wearing green like my boy Weevil Underwood, so maybe you know what you're doing. I like that there's other people dueling in the streets. That's really cool. And you know what, kid? I'm gonna try out my new deck on you. Just to see what it's like. I, f I feel like if I watched the shows, these decks would mean more to me. But since I didn't watch the show, this doesn't mean much. It's still cool to try out a new deck, though. Alright, let's see what you got, kid. As I said, I'm a scissor man, so... That's right. I'm going first. Yeah, that's how things should be. Phoenix Dragon, Vengeful Dragons, Counterattack, Dragon Bats. Alright, let me see what you got, kid. I'm going to show you some cra crazy stuff. Ooh, I drew a really good dragon, too. Nice. So this card, I need to know the details. When a Dragon Time Monster on your field is destroyed by opponents, attach someone card from the hand to the graveyard. Uh, destroy one monster on an opponent's field. Oh, that could be good. Alright, so I just need to save a, a monster in my hand. Send one card from your hand to the graveyard. Add one little five dragon type monster from your graveyard to your hand. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to summon the Dark Bat. I summon a monster. We're going to tribute the Dark Bat to summon the Dragon Knight of Darkness. He's not the strongest of cards, but he'll do. Mr. Dragonite over here, he's probably the strongest card. Or Dragorite, sorry. Dragorite over here, he's probably the strongest card we could summon just being a 15 beater. Phoenix Dragon, I'm either going to use your effect, or I'm just going to use you to destroy a monster. I hope you're okay with that. We're going to go to end phase. Because I summon my two strongest monsters, so if this guy's insect deck can beat my dragons, then this kid's pretty impressive. So what do you got, kid? Hmm. Is that Sparks? It is Sparks! You just do 200 damage to me. I love that you run that card. It's been a while since, uh... I've seen someone use it. I set a card. What about monsters, kid? No, what about monsters, kid? I mean, spells and traps are nice, but... Oh, I hate this kid. I don't have, I don't think this deck comes with much spell trap card destruction. My other deck did. But I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna draw some more cards. Ooh, I got a spell card. Alright, let's see the details. Send three dragon type monsters from your hand to the graveyard. Destroy all monsters on the field. If you destroyed a monster by this effect, search for summon one level four lower dragon type monster from your graveyard to the field. Oh, you know what? This is just to clear the field in case you're having a lot of trouble. I like it. One problem, I want to clear spells and traps. Also, I'm going to have to use Phoenix Dragon as a tribute monster because I drew three freaking tribute monsters. Monster. So obviously, I'm just going to summon the strongest one, Fire Guardian. Who cares about the other two? All right, thank you. I, I could tribute my other guy. He's he, he's 100 attack weaker than my uh, this guy. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. I'll save my gra gravity press dragon for my trap card. 
Sorry about this, buddy. If this kid doesn't have any traps to defend himself, he's about to get hit real hard. Alright, let's move on to the battle phase. Let's do 21. Hold it. I activate a trap card. What do you got? Counter Cannonball. I know that Black Salvo card. Wait, did I just take... What the hell? How did I take 1,200? You still take the 21, so what did you actually do to me? Did I just take the damage of the monster you got rid of? Whatever you did, that's good that you hit me. But now you have no cards in your hand, so your other traps probably are ineffective. Yeah, it was rough. It's gonna get rougher, kid. No! I love that he's whining. I love bullying kids for their lunch money. And now I'm also a child, so it's okay now. Because in Tac Force 5, I'm bullying kids for, like, it's just wrong that I'm bullying kids. But in this game, it's okay. <laughs> because I'm his age. Or around his age. I don't know. I'm a fifth grader. He's probably like a second grader at best. No, I'm bullying still. Give me your lunch money, though. I need it. I need to buy more packs. Which is something I want to do today. So you did get a monster, but you're scared of my awesome front row. Look at this. Look at this front row. Triple tributed monsters. This game's good. I like the idea. Oh, shit. Did you get your boss or something? My ace monster. Uh-oh. What is your ace monster? Whoa. What is that thing? All right. I'm curious. You got my attention. What does it do? You're thinking a lot, kid. Oh, I know that card. Darkness Approaches. Yeah, it looks a little different, but I know it. Mmm, that was a good play. That was a good play, kid. I'll give you that much. And you still had another mo- You just put a cat in attack. You better have another trap card or something. Because you just put a cat in attack mode. That was a really good play. He attacked my monster. That was important. So his ace monster is a one tribute level 6, 1700 attack point monster, which- Honestly, maybe it's pretty good. Maybe it's pretty bad. I don't know. All I know is that I'm about to get a little vengeful on it. Yeah, my dragon counterattack says you're going to lose. Now, I think it said I had to discard one dragon monster, right? Uh, just wait. When when a dragon monster is destroyed, someone card... Oh, just one card from my hand? Screw this dragonic pressure. I don't need to destroy the whole field ever, so... Sorry about that, Kyle. Is that Moki Moki? What is that trap card? One up. Is that Skull Servant? You have Skull Servant in your freaking deck? I love you, kid. I love you. You, you just you just killed yourself, but I love you. Okay. This is just give me your lunch money. All right. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm not. I don't even want to hurt you. I feel bad for you and your parents because of you. All right. Let's do this. I'm just gonna end this duel. Like, I could win even harder with my Fire Guardian, but I'm, I've already won, so I'm just going to do it. Oh, I had already won without summoning, but I wanted to summon. Alright, you attack Kitty Kitty. Never play these cards in attack mode, kid. Just never. Unless you're going to tribute them or you have a trap for them. That's a tip from old Cooper. And uh, also, you lost the duel because you suck. So, insect deck, I like the idea. You didn't really summon many insects, but I, I like the idea that you were going with. Yeah, I beat the first, uh, I don't know, Youngster Joey in the game, or Youngster Kyle. I got his boss monster. What is this? Okay, send the top card of your deck to the graveyard. One face up monster on your field gains attack equal to the number of level one monsters. It's a level one monster card in a deck. Okay, so he runs low. Oh, Petite Moth, look at you. You're adorable. You look a little weird, actually, but it's fine. Don't worry. Uh, we all look a little weird sometimes. Alright, so I'm not going to end off this episode just like that. I know Kyle's duel is not worth it. Hey, kitty. Uh, sorry, my cat's in the room. I know Kyle's duel is not worth it. Just, uh, let's end it off on using Kyle's lunch money. Oh, I got his deck. Forest insect deck, yeah. Uh, no, I don't think I need to check it out. I'm glad I got his deck, though. So what we're going to do is... Shit, that's not what I wanted. No, how do I get out of this? Um, uh, we're going to go ahead and go shopping, because I love shopping. All right, card packs, that's exactly what I want. So let's see, we got pack mod one. Deck mod pack one, okay. Delivery date to be decided, to be decided. Win against a certain mass duelist, win against a certain duelist in the student council office, win against a certain label. Okay, so let's just start with this pack. Uh, purchase how many? 
Wait, how much does it cost? It costs a thousand dollars. Oh my god, it costs a thousand dollars. All right, well, shit. All right, let's. That's expensive. Better have a lot of cards in it if it costs a thousand dollars. I'm used to games saying it's like a hundred and fifty bucks. Oh my god, there's only five cards. That's no oh lesser dragon. That's not enough. Uh, binding chain. I know that card. Silver Fang, good to see ya. Thunder the Thunder. That, okay. And Fire Golem. Interesting. So two effect monsters. Now let's see what else I got. Petite Moth, fine. Uh, Defender, of, ooh, that's a rare. Defender of the Dragon Sorcerer. Okay. Let's see, Lizard Soldier, I know that card. Binding Chain again. And one side revise, or reverse. Oh my god, you only get 10 cards for $2,000. That's pathetic. That's actually way too little. Your opponent has two or more face-down monsters on their field. Change one monster to face-up attack. Okay, that doesn't seem that great. Uh, pay 600. One face-up monster your opponent loses field 600 defense. Eh, that doesn't seem that great. What else? A sell one card from your hand to the graveyard. Select one face-up monster your opponent loses 300 attack till end of turn. That will come in handy. Thunder the Thunder, you have a place in my deck. Silver Fang and Lesser uh, lesser Dragon, you have a place in my deck. Now, let's see the one rare card I pulled. Someone Spellcaster or Dragon-type monster from your hand to the graveyard. One monster on your field cannot be destroyed by an opponent's card effect this turn. That could be super helpful. That could be super helpful. Okay, I like that card. Obviously, I haven't gone up against enough tactical opponents for it to matter, but yeah. I don't know what exclusive cards are. I don't know what most of this is, but... We're going to learn as we go along. For now, we're just going to end it there. So guys, I want to thank you all for watching. If you're enjoying this series, please remember to like and subscribe. Next episode, we're actually going to delve into the game. Today, we got to do our first real duels. So, bye bye